Hello, Hacienda Locuente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tossers. And today, uh, I'm bringing you something huge. Uh, I, I have to say that it's kind of a hack, but it actually works. A lot of us have been asking, how do we allow our students to annotate on a PDF if we cannot use Cam or we don't have the student app uh, at home for the students to be able to do it with the student app? So this is something that um, I learned. Uh, and I want to show it with you. Now, before I start, I have to say that this might be a little difficult for our elementary kids, especially if we don't have them in front of us to show them. Maybe uh, creating a video for the parents so they know how to do it, it will help. But for everybody else, this is a really, really great way to allow students to annotate on a PDF. So what I've done, I've gone to assignments really quick. I created an assignment, it's just a math PDF, just because I found something fast, okay? And I want to make sure that I let the kids know the instructions, okay? So make sure you download this PDF worksheet, and I've attached the PDF right here. I didn't want to show a preview because I wanted them to read the instructions. Click Submit and upload that PDF worksheet. And I'm going to show it to you as a student what it will look like. Click on View Submission. Click on View Feedback. So these are the steps for the students and use the annotation features to complete, to complete the PDF worksheet. So basically what our students are going to be doing with this hat is using the same tools we use to annotate in SpeedGrader. So I'm going to assign this just really, really fast, okay? Um, I'll give it a due date. So, so tomorrow, I guess, uh, and then I'll do it tomorrow too, okay? And then let's go ahead and um, save and publish, okay? So it's called Mad PDF, okay? So I'm going to go back home and I want you to see this as a student, okay? So I'm going to go to my student view, okay? And uh, there's many ways to get to the assignment. Uh, sometimes you can find them under the to-do, that's how you will find it, okay? So I can get there um, by going to the Mad PDF or I can go to a module if that's how I created it. But my student is going to get there through the Mad PDF option on the to-do, okay? So they're there, okay? So what am I asking them to do? Download the PDF. So have the students download the PDF, okay? And I'm just gonna put it on my desktop, okay? Maybe I'll name it my name. So they will just name it whatever, or they don't, they don't have to name it because it's attached to their um, uh, Canvas account, but I just changed the name. They don't have to do that, okay? So I did that. Now I wanna say click Submit and I'll upload that PDF worksheet, okay? So I'm gonna go Submit Assignment, okay? I'm going to look for that file. So I know it's on my desktop. Some kids might have put it on their drive and so on and so on, but I know it's on my desktop. So I'm going to look for it, okay? And I named it my name, right? So it's right here, okay? So this is the student submitting the assignment and I chose the file and I'm going to submit the assignment right now, okay? So I submitted the assignment. Notice over here, I have a resubmit assignment option. Let's not touch that, okay? So now what I want you to do it's that it's been submitted. Now I want you to click on submission details right here, okay? And now that they are in here, what we wanted to do is tell them to go to view feedback, okay? And it's going to actually open the PDF that they submitted. But what I want you to see is that over here, they have the tools to annotate now, okay? Now this is not a great view um, that we're looking at, so we can just make it bigger. Okay, but notice what we have now, okay? I can actually have the tool um, to point. So if I want to point something, I don't understand. Okay, I could do that, but because we're just completing this, okay? If I go all the way to the right, I have the free draw tool. So now I have this tool and I can use different colors. And now my kid or my student can come in here and go, sorry. 20 and then you, if you know me you know my writing is horrible 30 40 50 and so on and so on. so that was the writing tool but remember you have other options too right so maybe i wanted to just uh fill in something with an answer i can go to text okay i can select text and the color that i want to use and maybe the question was right here and i want to just be able to type right here the answer for this question is and I can just basically answer the question, okay? So that's how they can use that tool and they have other tools over here. Now I know it's not as 
bus as Kami, but it does give us an option for us to be able to use. So now the kids have finished annotating, um, they can get out of the full screen mode if they want to, but uh, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to resubmit. And if I go in here, let me leave the student view. Okay. It's taken a little while to get out of the student view, but let's go ahead and leave the student view right now. And now if I go back to the assignment, really, really quick, just so you see, uh, the computer is really, really slow. So let me go back to that assignment. Okay, and it was a matte uh, PDF, right? I'm gonna click on it. It could have gotten the two grades. I'm going to go to speed graded. But now as a teacher, what I want you to see is that I can see what that student annotated and what they added. So I know uh, it is kind of a hack, but uh, at least it doesn't make you have to use an external tool or have to f find a program that you have to pay for. And it does work for what we're trying to do with our students. If you have any questions on how to do this, please contact any of your tech courses. Have a great day.